Take just a second and think about a place that exists where you can show up on stage in your pajamas in front of a room full of people who have been pre-screened as people who are your ideal customers and are specifically there because they want to hear what you have to say. And oh, by the way, this venue is completely free. And if you treat your audience right, you can expect to walk out of there with handsome revenue. So the place that I'm talking about, of course, is a Facebook group. And aside from Oprah choosing your book for her book club or showing your product or service as one of her new favorite things, then I can't think of a single other place in the world that allows us to grow our business and our audience faster and more effectively than Facebook groups. So let's just talk about some of the obvious ways that Facebook groups are really great for your business. First of all, Facebook groups allow you to walk the talk. You can take out ads all day long and you can get up, get beautiful mailers to go out in snail mail. You could get a commercial made. You could have a radio commercial, but nothing shows your showcases your knowledge and ability better than being able to walk the talk, which is what a Facebook group allows you to do. You're not talking about how good you are. You're showing how good you are. The ability to live stream inside a Facebook group allows us to establish a deeper connection in record time with our audience. Cultivating relationships this deep, this quickly is absolutely extraordinary. Because of Facebook's three questions, we can pre-screen our audience before they ever come into our group, making sure that they're right for our group and our group is right for them. It's free. And after you've built your Facebook group, you now have something to leverage in the same way that a best-selling author might leverage their book. It's lucrative and as you'll come to see, it's very, very rewarding. Now let's clarify the kind of group that I'm talking about. I'm not talking about a Facebook group that you put together to uh, go alongside at a one-time event or maybe a, a course that you're offering. What I am referring to when I talk about Facebook groups is your bread and butter group. It is where the buzz is created for your business. It is where you send all people who want to know more about your business. It's at the top or near the top of your funnel. It's where you really get to know your clients and potential clients and where they also get to know you. And Facebook groups are just getting better and better and that's because Facebook is really investing in them as part of their own growth for their business. So as I alluded to before, they, are, they have given us the ability to ask our members three questions before they come into our group. And the answers to these questions are pure gold. And inside this course, I'm gonna share with you all the different ways that you can use the answers to those questions to really have a broader, deeper understanding of your clients and to leverage that information in a variety of different ways. But even with all the benefits that I've just mentioned, you might decide that a Facebook group is not for you. To have a successful group, you really do need to be committed to it. It simply won't go anywhere if all you do is auto post inspirational quotes. I like to think of my group as a cocktail party and I could put out a bowl of Doritos or I could put out made from scratch beautiful hors d'oeuvres with cloth napkins. It's really up to me. You set the expectations for your group, letting your members know what they can expect from you and in turn what you expect from them. But Nevertheless, you can't escape the fact that there is work that you'll need to do in order to have a successful group. I attribute the rapid growth of my own online business directly to my Facebook group, The Front Row, which Fast Company Magazine recently called one of the top 10 Facebook groups to join before quitting your day job. And it is not the biggest Facebook group out there, but the truth is it's very engaged. And that is because I turn away as many people as I let into the group, because I want to make sure that the people who come in are right for my group and that my group is right for them. So if a Facebook group sounds like something that you're interested in, these lessons down below are step-by-step 
And not only am I going to walk you through everything you need to do to have a successful group, I'm going to share with you my secret special sauce for differentiating your group from the rest of the Facebook groups out there on Facebook. See you soon.